Hi everyone, welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm Lucy and I'm here today to talk to you about some exciting new fabrics that we've added to the site recently. So I've just got back, I was very lucky to go on a lovely um, little holiday in October half term, enjoyed a last bit of sunshine in the Canary Islands and then now I've come back to the UK and autumn and winter has well and truly arrived but that's fine because I'm ready for it. I'm well up for having a look at my wardrobe, having a think about what gaps I've got in it um, and just getting stuck into some nice cozy autumn winter makes and as luck would have it we've just had our new autumn winter range go onto the website there's over 50 new fabrics that we've added I think it might be quite a few more than that I can't remember off the top of my head but there's a lot guys and there's a huge variety as well so um, just to mention a few we've got like this lovely olive green coloured denim I know the coloured denims are always really popular with people so so jump on and have a look at that. There's also a hugely popular design a Lady McElroy design called Cobra Corsage and it's got flowers and um, a the occasional snake on it. It's really sort of sexy fabric um, and that is now available in a stretch velvet so we've got that on the site as well. We've got loads of wovens, viscose, uh, crepes, all of that sort of thing. Then we've also got a load of jerseys, ponties, we've got proper sweatshirting fabrics. There's loads of things to make your autumn winter dreams come true. Um, um, your autumn winter wardrobe dreams come true I should say so what I've done because there's so many I'm not going to be able to go through them all with you you know the best thing to do is jump on and have a look but what I've done today is I've just picked out the ones that I'm planning on getting started with the ones that jumped out to me immediately for the things I need to make for my wardrobe I'll talk you through the patterns I'm thinking of making with them um, and then um, you can get on and have a look yourself if you like these, great. If you don't, get on and have a look. There's plenty more to choose from. There's genuinely something for everybody's tastes on there, I'm sure. As always, the link to our website is below and we'll also pop links to all the patterns and the fabrics I mentioned below as well so you can find those nice and easily. So I'm excited to get started with this first one by John Caldor, which is called, it's called Madrid Fabric. Um, so it's a polyester fabric, I think it's 100% polyester, um, it's, it's like, it feels like a sort of crepe, a medium weight crepe almost, it's got quite a good amount of weight to it, but it's still got lots of movement and drape, so um, it's ideal for, I'm, I'm making a dress with it which I'll tell you about, it'd be ideal for those sorts of things. Um, I just love this sort of rusty colourway um, and then with the blue flowers on it I just thought it was really striking pretty print. Um, so you can see there's the occasional big flowers on it and then there's lots of smaller ones as well. Um, so yeah, if I just hold that up and show you there, you can see there's areas where there's um, smaller flowers as well. Um, the colour is only on the one side of the fabric and the other side of the fabric, it does feel, I think it's the sort of fabric that will feel quite nice against the skin. Um, you know, it does feel quite sort of soft and the thing I really like about it as well is I like that sort of weightiness to it. It's, it's not a heavyweight fabric by any stretch as you can see from sort of the movement and the drape there. Um, but I do think it's, it's the sort of fabric that will probably keep me relatively warm um, in the winter months. So that's why I was, I was quite excited about this one as well. But generally it's just the colours and the print that I really love on that. So my plan for that one, I haven't got, I made a dress I think last year um, in a beautiful mustard John Caldor Peas Blossom fabric. It was a McCall's pattern. Um, it's on the vlog, I've worn it quite a few times. It's on the blog as well. And I just absolutely love that dress. I love wearing it, I feel great in it. So I just thought I need more things like that in my wardrobe because I haven't got many many of those sorts of dresses that you can get away with for daytime but then you can dress up and feel nice at night time as well so um i've got like a party that i'm going to and um also a gig that i'm going to in nottingham and i thought actually if i made a nice dress in that fabric and then wore it with my all-time all favourite. I bet you get tired of hearing it. Ankle boots and a leather jacket. I just always think that gives things a modern edge and I just thought it would make a really nice outfit. 
So the pattern I've chosen to make that with, which I've just, um, I've cut the pattern out, I've, I've washed my fabric, I've just got to get started, it's been a manic week this week, is Butterick 6481. So this is a pattern I hadn't seen before, um, but I can't remember how I came across it, but I found somebody on the internet who'd made it, um, and it just looked absolutely beautiful. I'm looking at making view A, so it's sort of a, relatively high neck with a little keyhole and then there's princess seams and if you want to you can do a contrasting fabric section there but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to do it all in the same fabric um, and then there's sort of loose like flared three quarter length sleeves um, there's a waistband and um, then just sort of like a slightly flared knee length skirt so it's very sort of boho chic type of look and I just really like the fact the McCall's dress that I made that I was talking to you about that had um, an elasticated waist at the back and I just always feel it felt a bit like the skirt was sort of, it moved around a bit because of the elasticated waist, if you know what I mean. And I think I prefer something that is properly fitted to my waist. Um, so that's another reason why I like the look of this pattern, but I just like the general vibe of it. I just think it'll be really lovely. Um, View B's also got some beautiful sleeves, which I really like. They're a full length sleeve with like, um, a, is it a trumpet or on the end is it a trumpet sleeve on the end you know and it's got like that flared like um oh god I can't remember what they call the pattern pieces now <laughs> my mind's gone blank but anyway get on and have a look but I decided to go for the shorter sleeves that are uh, flared because I thought if I am wearing it to a gig or to a party I, I think full length sleeves I might get too hot but those flared sleeves at three quarter length should be quite sort of open and flowy so that's why I chose that one so I can't wait to get cracking on that and then the next fabric I was going to talk to you about is another John Caldor. So this is, I think it's like a crepe de chine. Um, it's a polyester fabric again. Let's have a look. I'm sure it is like a crepe de chine. It's, um, I just love the design on this one. Um, it's a lovely weight for sort of tops and blouses and that sort of thing. It's ideal for that. I'm actually showing you the wrong side there. That wasn't very good, was it? You can tell I've been on holiday. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But I just really love these colours. I just, they're like, you know, some of my favourite colours, that like fuchsia pink and the navy blue. We've got this in another colourway as well. We've got it in like, um, it's sort of like a pale pink um, with brighter colours against it. Um, but I just think it's a really fun design. I like the fact that it's geometric. I like the fact that it's um, not floral because, you know, there is a lot of floral, floral fabrics about. And that's one of the things I was really pleased with with this latest release of fabrics that we've got is that there are a lot of non-florals in there for people who aren't keen on florals. Um, so my plans for this would be, I th I'm thinking either a sew over it pussy bow blouse, which is an all time favourite of mine, um, or I was also thinking about um, making, there's a Vogue pattern that I've wanted to make for ages, which is Vogue 9285, because I definitely need some more blouses in my wardrobe. I've only got a few long sleeve winter blouses, um, and I do really like wearing them, and I think they're great for if you go out for a meal or something at night, and you don't want to be super dressed up, but you do want to feel a little bit smarter. Um, so the Vogue pattern, I would be looking at probably making view C, um, which is, they've all got like a high neck with a little collar, um, pleated front, which I really like because being small busted, I think that's very flattering in that area for me. It's got full length sleeves, which um, are voluminous at the end. And then I've got a lovely deep cuff, which is a design feature I absolutely love. Um, and I think, yeah, if I made that, um, blouse in that I think it would work really well but I might end up doing the pussy bow blouse because I think with that fabric it might be the case that I decide that I need a bit more flesh on um, display just to break it up a bit because it's quite a busy print so interested to hear your thoughts on that just pop them in the comments below if you want to uh, contribute and help me out with that decision the next one that I want to talk to you about is, um, again, I haven't got any shirts in my wardrobe, and like I said, I've only got a couple of blouses, so I really think I need to top that section up, and I just absolutely love this fabric. It's a viscose fabric, 100% viscose. Um, 
I just love the floral design against the stripes. I think it's really unusual. Um, I've seen, I have seen, having said that, I have seen garments made in this sort of style of fabric out and about and in the shops and I just, I love it. I just think it's a great fabric and I'd really like to make, um, there's a birder shirt that I was planning to make with that. So I say shirt, it's not like a, obviously a viscose fabric wouldn't work for a proper stiff traditional shirt, but it's kind of like a blouse slash shirt and it's birder 6326. I think I might've mentioned this to you recently because I was looking in the summer at making the short sleeve version, never got around to it. But there's also a long sleeve version with a little collar um, and then it just looks like quite a nice feminine shape. It's got bust darts. I think it would work really well with that fabric and then I could just wear that tucked into my jeans um, or whatever. And I think it would just, yeah, I think I'd feel smart um, but still feel quite feminine as well. So that's that one. Um, so yeah, it's lovely and lightweight and, and breathable, obviously, because it's a viscose. I think I probably would need to, depending on where I was going, I might need to wear a cami under it to keep me warm. But I mean, to be honest, this sort of thing I would be wearing, um, yeah, to go for a meal or to go out shopping on a Saturday, you know, with your jacket when you don't want to get too hot. Um, so yes. I never go shopping on a Saturday by the way I don't know why I just said that but I've got these ideas of uh, maybe going out shopping someday or one day it does happen occasionally um, and then the other fabric I wanted to talk to you about so we've had a lot of proper sort of sweatshirting fabrics which I'm really excited about because um, we've had ponties and things in the past but we've never had anything really really cosy and this year we've got stuff that is so warm and gorgeously cosy and I'm so pleased about it so um, the, we had um, the grey sweatshirting fabric in which I shared with you a couple of weeks ago I think and I made some hoods and pants with that um, and that was a fleece backed and I wore those on the plane to go on the holiday that I was just talking to you about and they were so comfortable and they were so warm but weirdly when I was making them I was a little bit worried I might be a bit too hot in them especially sat on the plane and stuff but actually I didn't feel like that at all you know and I, I do get quite hot these days think it's my age but um yeah I, they were really comfortable and um I didn't feel too hot in them at all they're lovely and soft against your skin I just never want to take them off and I just want to make loads of pairs so we've got like the charcoal grey which I shared with you we've got like a marl grey as well there are other colours we can get if they go well and people are interested in them we can source other colours but we've also got this one which isn't um, exactly the same as the, the grey ones that I was talking to you about. Um, but it's this lovely sort of heathered purple colour. And then you can see on the back, oh, look at that coziness. Look how soft and warm and fluffy the other side is. So that would be against your skin, making you smile, making you feel warm all day. So, yep, yeah, that's my kind of fabric. It's lovely. Um, so what I really want to do, I've got those lovely hoods and pants. Um, I have reached a point in my life where I've realised, you know, I do need some comfortable clothes in my wardrobe, but some comfortable clothes that I actually like wearing, not just horrible old scruffs that I'm embarrassed to answer the door in so now I've got the lovely hoods and pants I need to make some more of those but what I thought was as well I've really got into my hoodies recently I'm sort of like regressing back to my teenagers with all of this but the difference is this is more these days it's more for me to just wear around the house or like if I'm running the kids about and I don't really need to you know look smart or whatever or don't feel like it um whereas probably in my teens I was probably wearing this stuff all day every day um but yeah I thought to go with the hoods and pants I might have a go at Jarly 3355 view b which is a lovely hoodie with a little kangaroo pouch thing on the front um it looks like it will probably give you the instructions to do that little crossover of stitching um with your cover stitch machine on the front if you want to and i just thought yeah this uh, heathered purple would look nice with that gray and then i'd just wear it with like other things as well i'm a i'm a rugby mom so every week i'm standing on the side of a rugby pitch freezing cold on a sunday morning so i need lots of these things in my wardrobe to wear to layer up and keep nice and warm so yeah that's um that one and then finally the last one i want to share with you 
is this fabric which is it's in our jer printed jersey section but it is like a sweatshirt weight um i would say it's like a sweatshirt weight it's like a ponty weight you know it's a it, it is a good weight it's not as sort of uh, warm and fluffy as the sweatshirt in fabric i was just talking to you about but it definitely d would feel warm and cozy wearing it so it, i love the colorway of this i've really got into bottle green i've had um i had a coat for my birthday it was like a forest forest green i suppose not bottle green um and i've just seen loads and loads of it about this year in the shops and it's just a color like in the summer i was saying to you guys i'd, I'd steer clear of greens and yellows for years and now i'm really getting into them and that's carried through to the autumn just something different in my wardrobe um so this has got like this sort of stripey effect it's got that sort of forest green color like almost like an autumnally goldy color and then it's got like a little sparkly fleck in it as well which is probably quite hard to pick up on the um on the old camera but the but trust me guys there is a little bit of sparkle in that as well which i think is a nice touch and i thought actually if i made i'm thinking i do need some more sort of cozy jumper type items in my wardrobe um i thought if i made simplicity 8529 which is um the Soho 7 toaster sweater um i think if i made that i'd probably make view b with the um the roll neck or a sort of turtleneck and it's I think it's like a relatively crop length but it's got like a, a band on the bottom I'm not sure how the band will work with this pattern fabric so I'll have to have a look at that but I'm just thinking generally with this a nice sort of um cozy sweatshirty top with like a bit of a roll neck on it I think I would wear that a lot through the winter definitely with skirts and tights and also with my jeans as well so yeah I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that one as well so that's it from me for today they are just my sort of five that I thought right these are the ones I need to get started on these are the things I need in my wardrobe that I haven't got at the moment um but there will be as I said at the start of the video there's so many other fabrics for you to choose from if these aren't your cup of tea you know i'm sorry it's hard to it's hard to please everybody's taste but um i'm sure there will be things on there that you are interested in so get on and have a look the website um details below just click on there go to our dressmaking fabrics section you'll have a ball so i hope you've enjoyed that today i will be sharing all of this stuff with you when i've made it as well and um if you like what you see please like and subscribe and i'll look forward to seeing you next time